Hey YouTube, welcome back. And today we're here with a cash game video playing 2 5 with a $500 buying. At open ace 10, button flats here again with a shorter stack. I'm gonna see about here with our top two ace 10 4. See the call two on the turn. Another bet. And Jam's call has ace queen of spades. Very fortunate flop for us there. And a nice knockout of a shorter stack. Up in here to 2 5, we open cutoff, button three bets. We're going to four bet. Would be willing to go with it if they jam here. Player's pretty aggressive, particularly pre flop. So uh, see the call. Queen 8 6. Start with the small size here. Fortunately, obviously not the greatest flop in the world. See the call, jack of clubs turn. Slightly over bet to jam here. We're gonna rip it in with the ASI flush draw and gutter. Two over cards. Could have sized up on the turn a little bit more so than about hot size jam. About like a third instead of a quarter, but either way, jam gets through there. Hijack open, we're gonna three bet the aces. See the call. 8-6, deuce, two clubs. I'm going to go for half pot. Get raised. We're going to put this in. Hopefully, they just have an over pair that we have crushed. Has threes. And we get it in. Good. Nice pot with aces. Open eights here, get three bets. Playing pretty deep, we're gonna flat this. Oh my gosh, tough set. Eight, four, three, we're just gonna check. Pretty deep here too. I'm just gonna call. Ace of clubs turn check. Probably just gonna keep calling down and then check jab rivers that aren't a club. So that's half pot, just pure call. Four diamonds river, so we got the boat. We'll check. This keeps bluffs in. Also, if they have like ace, king, ace, queen, they probably just have to barrel three times. And that's 238. And we're gonna go for the jam here. Don't expect him to three bet four is pre, and only really losing the aces here. So guess could have ace four suit, but obviously we beat that. That would be a good hand for us to see them having. So we're all in. Uh, eventually folds, so pick up a big pot there. I was hoping they would call, but still a very nice pickup. All right, big pot brewing potentially, so we get hijack limp, we raise cut off, three bet, cold call, call, calling 45, win two, 17 with implied odds. Hit me a nine, please, one time on the flop dealer. Oh, there we go, 10, nine, seven. All right, so I'm uh, gonna be playing this one pretty aggressively. I'm gonna check to the player in position, although I'm afraid they're gonna check this board a decent frequency as many ways. If it checks through, I just want to see no eight or six mainly. Checks through, ace on the turn. Uh, trying to think if I want to bet or go for check raise. I'm going to go ahead and bet now. So I'm going to go for a pretty big size. I think this player could honestly full ace king in the spot, um, but I think we're targeting players here, charging for draws. Calls Jack River. Not a good one. Eight makes a straight, although there's such a little SPR behind here. I think we jam this for value and we can definitely get called by worse. Um, clubs miss, which is good. So I think we can get value from worse here when they have so little left behind. Uh, if they like pop behind, I'd probably be checking. Uh, we're going to try to get the rest here with our set. But... I should see the fold. Nice pickup with nines. All right, open ace 10 here, get two calls. We're going to flop the ace high flush draw, 8 6 2 all clubs. I'm going to play this one as a bet if we get checked to. It raised huge. So the problem is, like, when we just hit one club, it's hard to get paid. I don't think he's going to raise, like, sets or two pairs, so it's like we always have the club that's live. 
think I'm just gonna click this back. Uh, this is so weird for me. I'm just gonna call, change my mind. Uh, this is a really bad turn. Not that you should have two bears in sets, but it makes it less likely we're gonna. We don't have. We can't draw to the nuts anymore. I'm curious what I should have done there on the turn versus a big raise with the ace of clubs. I maybe should have just gone to get it in, but it feels like a lot of money just to pummel in. I uh, checks to us. This is interesting. I think I'm gonna check this back. Three river. You might have been pot controlling with some smaller flushes, which again may have been interesting for me to bet and then jam because I'm blocking the ace-high flush. Um, I was played him into full here, but I'm not sure I really love my hand. I mean I could raise here, but I think like a lot of my stronger hands would be I think going for it. So anyways, not sure I love the way I played that ace 10 hand. Kind of a weird spot. Open 5-4 suit in the cutoff. Small line three bets about 4x. Uh, because we're about 200 bigs deep, I'm gonna go ahead and flat this one. Flop the open ender, but if we hit one side of it, it would be a four liner where there's a higher card. Uh, so not quite as valuable. Uh, bet small would play is just a call here. Huge turn card. We turn the straight guys with the flush draw. And it's the perfect end of the straight too. It's the nuts, our second nuts at this point, sorry. 9-8 beats us, but huge turn. Um, bet's 110. I think we raise at this point, although it's a little bit harder to be called down. So we're going to raise. This looks super strong, but I think we do want to raise to be able to jam rivers here at the stack depth. Uh, my bluffs here would be like 9x of clubs. Uh, giant Jack 9 of clubs would be a fun one, for example, that I would get to the turn with here. Also have a flush draw to go with our straight, which is pretty sick. Wow, we're all in. Has kings. Oh my goodness. Huge pot there, guys. 5-4 suited. Cracking the kings on the turn. Getting paid. Love to see it. All right, so we got cut off limp, button raise. I'm going to 3-bet ace-jack here. Check the queen-jack 3. Uh, pots it. <laughs> oh, this is so gross. Um, I think I'm just going to call and keep their bluffs in and plan on calling down anything that's not a king. This player plays so aggressive. He could have a like, queen-9, queen-10 that beats us, but... <sighs> trying to think. Uh, oh, the one turn I said I would fold. <laughs> so insane. So insane. I mean, we do pick up a gutter too, but... I'm going to fold now, even though we're getting such a good price. I should have just... I was planning on just jamming turn there, or on the flop, and there's that much money in, but... Like I said, I was going to literally call down any turn that wasn't a king. So... I guess we only fold the king, that's okay. Alright, undergun open, hijack flat, small blind call, call big blind, king 5 suited. Huge flop, we flop trip 5s here, 7-5-5. Five, five. Not only do we flop a 5, but we flop a big kicker with it. Um, going to be probably doing a lot of raising here. Oh my gosh, Radimus raises. Call. <laughs> um, I know this will make game time, we'll fold aces here if I rip this, but we're just trying to get in versus other 5x or them stacking off of flush draws they shouldn't versus these two. Uh, so I'm just going to rip in king 5 suited with the raise to 89 and a call in here. So we're all in. Hope they have a worse 5. And they both just snap fold. So pick up quite a bit of money there, but especially when I'm 100 bigs deep, I definitely think I prefer jam there. Right, so we open cutoff, button 3-bet. We're going to put in the 4-bet here, playing just over 100 bigs effective. Calls pretty quick. King 6-5 rainbow. I uh, go with a small bet. Calls deuce turn. I think I'm going to play this as a check with aces. I obviously don't want to see a club peel off, but in 4-bet pot, I think it's... Get him to stack in like King Jack, King 10, where he might make some hero fold with those sometimes. If he decides the bet though, we're gonna be jamming. So we'll make him put it in now. Has seven nine of clubs and misses his gutter and club draw. Nice pot with aces. Yeah. Uh here we open Jack's big blind defend. See you at the 954. And four on the turn. See the lead small makes a lot of sense here. It's gonna be a good card for them. Probably calling pretty much calling any non-spade river. I prefer to see like a nine miss and obviously don't like over cards either. 
Oh, boat on the river. Please have a Ford. <laughs> How sick would that be here? How sick would that be? Uh, just checks. That's unfortunate. Um, I think here I'm going to go small. Tardy mainly like 9x. Also, if I go small enough, he might even raise some 4x. And if he has a boat here, we're just going to be getting paid. But Whereas if I like over bet here, even like some weak boats for 4x would we'll just call. So we get called wider and get him to raise for value thinner. Might also bluff too. You might also think I'm just not to balance a strong hand. So we see the bomb to 217. This might be working out perfectly. Please have it. If he had quad fours, how sick would that be? So sick. I mean, he's going to raise a set of fours at a decent frequency, so I'm not too worried about it. Hoping he has like fives full here, five four suited, something like that. So we're going to be all in. Let's see what happens. Like I said, I do think there's a chance it's a bluff based on my sizing. So, And he could also be value raising a four and then now fold too. It's just really going to depend what he thinks if I can find bluffs here or not. Uh, eventually folds, so nice pot there with the jacks full. He might have made a pretty big fold there. That's the end of our cash game session today, YouTube. So we played for four hours at 2-5 and 1-2 in the 2-5 game. 712 hands, profit of $2,477. In the 1-2 game, 982 hands, loss of 278. Total profit of the day, plus $2,198. Feels really good to book the big win today. I've had some tough 2-5 sessions in the last few weeks, so it feels really good to get two back-to-back -back wins there for a few buy-ins each. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to watch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.